Well, looks like I'm doing a part two to this one because I uh, got caught out with a uh, lack of recording space. How typical, right? <laughs> Why change the habit of a channel time? Fuck it. Um, so yeah, I was saying about um, if you know you're in a relationship and then they change their mind and you know you've invested in that relationship um, emotionally, financially, and then the breakup comes and you know it's something where you have to question whether it's really worth investing in you know the people i mean it is this argument of and you know people have said this about even me and whereas for the most part i'm really easy to get along with um i suppose as has been described i'm a i'm a cool bloke right but then there's that other side to me, which, you know, it's not, <laughs> you know, some people would love to describe this as some form of personality disorder in order to, you know, put someone down with. And I just want to point out when I've, when I'm talking about people with a personality disorder, it's not coming from a place of insulting them. It's no, that they have a genuine issue, which they genuinely need to work on in order to become a better member of society or a better person uh, so i'm not coming from a position of oh yeah well you know i don't know say borderline this or whatever right it's not coming from a place of wanting to insult them or even um categorize them to put them in a box it's no it's to make people aware of what you know the tendencies and the i suppose habits of those type of persons are well people <laughs> persons anyway as for me, it's like, I'm alright with everyone up until a point where you cross a line, and then you will see a different side. Now, this isn't some personality disorder. This is literally just a, you've crossed a line, you've probably been told about yourself prior to crossing the line, because it's, you know, one of them. And it's an option that they have. They, they can choose to cross the line or not cross the line. If they want to test the boundaries, that they're, they're going to be in for a bit of a fucking shock. Um, you know, again, because it's an ability that we all have, just many people don't put into practice. And that is when someone oversteps their boundary, the boundaries that you have, what you're willing to put up with. And, you know, rather than showing them the door, permanently because at the end of the day you know once 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 someone does something to you once they will do it repeatedly to see how far they can push you now this is another sort of situation which i've i've faced quite a few times in you know in, in workplaces in particular and whereas people just want to annoy you to see how far they can push you and then when they see that side of you that all of a sudden they realize that you're a bit of a, I don't know, a bit of an animal, as it were, and you then retaliate and do something to them in order to get them to stop. Bearing in mind the real, the realism of what happens in that scenario is, the one causing, the the one overstepping the boundaries is by default bullying the other person, and once the other person has had enough of being bullied. And they retaliate accordingly, or maybe they just retaliate to a, like some people do, uh, to the point where they want to make sure that the other person really gets the message, you know. Um, or <laughs> then they'll play victim, you know. And it, it's it's that thing of, um, as as I've used as as a description before, cotton, uh, uh, coin a phrase. It's like playing chess with a pigeon. They jump onto the chessboard, kick all the pieces all over the place, shit all over the board, and then strut around as if they've won. It's like, you ain't won shit. You know? And it's, you know, a lot of people do also that overstep boundaries and bully others. They will go and play that victim card as soon as the retaliation comes. But that's kind of going a little bit off on, on a on a sort of a tangent. I mean, when it comes down to relationships, I mean, you know, for start, you know, intimate relationships, for starters, if someone's overstepping your boundaries, show them the door. It is literally as simple as that. 
and this is something that a lot of people don't really understand and some people don't even really care you know um, some people are just of this mindset that they are entitled to go around treating people however they want with zero to non repercussions and as I've said before a lot of the time these people will show different aspects of themselves to different groups of people and it'll only be the more familiar ones um, the ones that actually know them on a on a on a more real scale that know what they are like you know re in, you know their, their true nature and I suppose as, as the saying goes if you live like a cunt you'll be thought of like a cunt simple as that and when you're dead you'll be remembered as one <laughs> you know th this is what these people don't seem to fucking quite grasp but a lot of them you know I, I think they're actually not mentally developed enough to realize that you know a lot of them you know i don't want to go down the whole path of uh ego and thought patterns but it is a it is related absolutely um and whereas they seem to think they have some entitlement to treat people like shit you know um but in terms of like like i say attachment styles and relationships i mean those those people are the worst for it um they will literally seek out someone that they can bully and I suppose psychologically, emotionally manipulate and abuse all at the same time and not want any repercussions. Like I say, we're playing the victim later on. Oh, it is, you know, and I, I've done several videos like this over the years, um, reading news articles, you know, um, where, well, I'm not going to go into it. Um, but this is just it. I think most people need to break free from their attachment styles um and you know like i said before i mean i'm i tried to be a good person but at the same time it's like i'm quite cutthroat when it comes down to friendships and relationships you know if people start overstepping boundaries or disrespecting like blatantly disrespecting um you know that they, they, they get told about themselves and then they get cut out of my life because you know realistically who who is gonna want that in their life anyway you know and but like i say the problem is a lot of guys because i'm talking about you know more intimate relationships with with between men and women um they will go for that familiarity um and i, I think women are just the same in in some instances um but as always it is a subjective thing um but, sir, Levy, such is life, right? Anyway, um, that's all I've got for this video. I'm sorry it's in a two-part, so I don't know if you'll get notified of this one. I'll put a link in the description to the first video, and I'll put a link in the description to this video, and I'll throw another link into some music I was listening to in between while I was deciding how, how I was going to go forward with this one. So, um, Speaking of going forward, I wasn't really planning on making any more videos um you know for this year i was sort of thinking about you know just fucking the channel off altogether um but here i am so <laughs> anyway thanks all for listening much appreciated thoughts comments and opinions as always feel free to jot them down and until the next one stay cool stay free stay out of trouble check your attachment style and don't go for toxic or saying can end well so peace out have a good have a good weekend as well laters